Hi, and welcome to another video in this here series on how to study. Um, previous uh, videos for this how to study series, uh, you find the links posted in the, uh, the posting below. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, just if you haven't seen the other ones, you know, just click on the links and they'll take it to the other videos. Uh, this one here today, as you can see from the uh, PowerPoint, that this is about memorization versus understanding and application. Now, when it comes to, uh, to studying, um, a lot of people, um, you know, when you think about it, when we go to high school, all right, um, it's all about memorization, all right? Uh, the teacher stands in front of you and, you know, here's this classroom and they assign a chapter to read, okay? And then the very next day, uh, the teacher asks, well, who read the chapter, okay? And invariably, only two or three kids read the chapter, right? But now, because of the educational system, um, they, you know, they have requirements, you know, they can't fail all the students uh, because the classroom's not big enough, and of course, there's more kids, you know, from the previous grade coming through in the next year. So, what has to happen? Well, the the teacher has to cover the material so that they can, you know, push the, the students through. It's about covering the material. So the questions are kind of like geared towards memorization. You know, the, the teacher says, read, you know, read the chapters. Students don't. Teacher stands in front of the class, repeats what's in the book. Okay. Well, did the, ter te did the kids learn anything? No. So the teachers kind of like have to, quote unquote, dumb down the questions in order to uh, be able to have the students meet the requirements. That's why, you know, you see memorization, you know, memorize the definitions or, you know, uh, the questions are, you know, keyword questions like a multiple choice, C spot what, okay, C spot blank, A run, D roll over, C play dead, you know, D get a watermelon, you know, and the student just needs to go back into the chapter and, you know, they're looking for the keywords C spot. And then, ah, well, there's the answer, run. Okay, so they come over to the, the test and they, you know, select the correct answer. You know, that's high school. That's memorization. It's not higher learning. You know, you don't develop the skills for higher learning uh, through memorization. Uh, don't get me wrong. Memorization is a, you know, is a process. It's part of the, uh, the way we function and it has its, you know, its, you know, purposes but when it comes to professional work at the college level or in the, the workplace, it's not about memorization. It's about uh, understanding and application. Okay, you know, this is a higher level of thinking. Now, when students come into college, you know, it's not the uh, teacher's job, all right, to teach. It's the student's job to learn, all right. You know, they're paying for the education. Everything that's in the book, everything that needs to be learned, plus additional skills that you develop from doing the work, you know, is all right there, okay? So it's the student's job to learn. It's not for them to sit there and have the teacher in front of them. I mean, I hear that quite often. Oh, well, I need somebody in front of me, you know, showing me. I'm a visual learner. Well, if you're a visual learner, then that means you only learn one way. And you haven't developed the skill sets for learning other ways and that are just as equally important. Uh, so you need to develop that by, you know, learning how to study on your own and, and developing the skills. It's the student's job to learn, right? The teacher is there only to guide, okay? The teacher has the knowledge, right? Um, when the student is learning on their own, if they get stuck, you know, that's why we recommend, ah, you know, call and speak with an instructor. You know, email us when you don't understand something. You know, we're there all the time. Um, but, you you know, we see it all the time where the students don't do it. And then they, you know, they can't pass the tests. Or they can't get the problem right. Or they can't do the project. Well, when they were, should have been calling us because they didn't understand. To have the teacher be able to guide them and get over those uh, those difficult spots so that they can understand, okay? Uh, they're not doing it. So, um, definitions, you know, you know, we look them up. We don't memorize them. I personally, you know, if you ask me what a definition is, is I'm not going to know the definition. I'm going to go look it up in a book. But 
you know, the concepts and the examples of the concepts are in the textbook. I understand those concepts and I'm able to apply those concepts. I might not be able to give you the definition, but that's not what's needed in the workplace. In the workplace, what you need to do is be able to apply that knowledge. Okay, So we have this here issue of comprehension versus understanding, which in one of the previous videos I went over, um, comprehension is like, oh, just because I read English and I read the, ta the, the chapter, yeah, I comprehend it because I read English, but do I really truly understand that material? Uh, if you, you know, ask questions and try to answer the questions and, and be more active in your, your studying, you, you come to learn and, and understand that material so that you can apply it. Just reading through a chapter and then try to do the, the questions is not learning, okay? Repetition is the mother of learning. So, you know, when, in order to understand, we obtain, uh, we get that by doing homework problems. Um, you know, you read the chapter, and if you, you know, you, you'll have the concept, and there'll be an example of that concept. And if you look at that concept, and you can understand that example, now granted, it doesn't, you know, it, it's, you know, one example doesn't cover all of the different situations, but one example begins to explore the idea of that concept. And then when you do homework problems now you're applying it and by doing more homework problems you can further explore the the concept itself so that you uh, can get a good grasp of you know what it takes right you know I, I wrote here I see it all the time in financial accounting doing the greater projects you know students will read the chapters and they won't do the homework right and then they wonder why they can't do the project okay they call up oh I don't know what to do Oh, I read it three. I read the instructions three times, and I still don't know what to do. Well, if I ask, you know, have you done the homework problems? Uh, you know, I get no. Well, if they did, they they're not calling up to ask us. You know, <laughs> you know, I don't know what to do because the, if you do the homework, you're applying what you learn, and therefore, when it comes time to do the project or take the test or whatever have you, it's not to say that you won't get it 100%. Nobody does. I mean, it, you are learning. You're in an academic environment. Nobody expects you to be 100% correct. However, to have read through three chapters and then be given a project and you read the instructions and say, I don't know what to do, well, that tells us you didn't do anything, okay? Now, here's the, here's the key thing about all of this. You know, you're in college and you're in this higher level of learning and what you're doing is you're becoming a professional, okay? You know, when you have your bachelor's degree, you're considered a professional. Now, don't misunderstand me here. I mean, there's differences in professionals. I mean, you know, uh, not everybody, you know, it's sort of like, would you, you know, if you wanted to have an operation, you know, would you go to a doctor that has that, you know, average C's or would you want to go to a doctor that average days? Well, obviously, I would want the person that has A's, okay? Um, but the point being here is, is that when you get your degree, you know, you're considered a professional, and when you go out into the workplace, you know, uh, you're expected to be able to handle the situations. You know, something comes up, and even if it is five years later, okay, or ten years later, I mean, I'm teaching. I got, got my degree many, many years ago, but, you know, situations come up, and I'm still using that knowledge from before. If I memorized it, would I still remember it today? No. Okay, if you went back to the SQR3 method, um, there was a slide in there that had, you know, the cone of learning, okay? And, you know, it showed, you know, if you read how much of a percent that you remember over a, you know, over a period of time, if you, you know, actively participate, if you, you know, you teach, you know, how much more are you going to remember things? And that's the whole point. If you can understand the material, all right, then later on down the road, you'll be able to use that material and apply it. You won't have to be looking it up, all right, which would be very, very unprofessional. Sure, it's not to say that you're not going to have situations that arise, that you're going to have to say, hey, you know, let me check into this and let me look at that. I mean, that happens all the time. My, I'm an accountant, and my intermediate accounting textbook has sat next to me all of these years, just in case there's something I come across that I, you know, 
forgot because obviously the older you get the longer it's been since you've learned something the more the less and less you're going to retain in long-term memory however you can't be doing that all the time um, in the workplace you know you're going to be expected to know and memorization it leaves you pretty quick okay uh, you have to, you know, uh, under, if you understand it, it gets embedded into your long-term memory. And remember, there's a difference between uh, memorization and application. You know, I see a lot of students who are book smart. They want to memorize the book. But when it comes to actually doing the work, they can't do it um, because they spent their time memorizing instead of understanding and applying. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that all comes back down to, you know, doing homework problems okay the more problems you do I mean we all teachers not just our school but brick-and-mortar schools other online schools why are you know you assigned homework problems because that is part of the application all right um, that's how you know you quote unquote learn so um, you know I this here is just kind of a, an idea of concepts of memorization versus understanding an application um, and what it takes. Try to stay away from the memorization part. Spend the time thinking about, don't memorize, spend the time thinking about, you know, the concepts and exploring what the concept means. And you, f you come, you fully understand that by actually doing the work, doing the homework problems. So enough of this rant and rave, but I hope it, uh, you know, gives you a little bit of a, uh, an idea as to uh, you know how to study and what it actually means okay so like i said look at previous episodes uh, previous videos by clicking on the links and uh, i hope you like this one and i'm also going to produce a, a couple of more videos in the future that have to do with uh, understanding an application which you'll which you have an idea if you had seen the sqr3 method video so take care and best of luck with all of your studies